What's going on there folks? Good evening, the Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this uh, 2 2022 date. A lot of twos taking place here today. It is uh, about uh, 6.24 p.m. California time and uh, latest quake out there on the globe shows an earthquake out in the California region. I do want to uh, show you guys a little movement here on the Petrolia station. I don't know if I can go back here and see if you guys can see this or not, but the station right there on the Petrolia area. A uh, station that's got a pretty good spike there on that uh, station showing a little localized earthquake activity uh, currently. And uh, not showing up there on the USGS map. Let me see if I can see it come around the bend here, which it is right now here at that little spike. little localized earthquake. I've uh, been getting a couple of those throughout the day today. So nothing spectacular, but some earthquake activity uh, nonetheless showing up on the map. Let's go ahead and check out latest information here on the USGS map here showing the last 24 hours of earthquake activity, uh, the all magnitudes map uh, showing that movement down south here. Seen, seen a little increase in activity. There's that uh, 2.1 Borrego Springs area. Also some activity uh, right around the Salton Sea area just off the Brawley seismic zone. Seen a little activity uptick today in that region. Also San Jacinto Fault Zone and areas north of Los Angeles, just off of the, uh, I'm not for sure which fault system that is up here, kind of up here in the mountains there. Topa, what is that? Topa Topa? Hopefully, I, man, it looks kind of like that. Topa Topa Mountains, uh, northeast of Fillmore region. I see a little bit of swarming activity there, 2.4 and a couple ones. Upper one magnitudes, pretty deep movement into that region. Like I said, not for certain which fault system that is on, but uh, I'm sure there's some up there just not showing it on the USGS map. Either way, some deep activity in that region. Uh, Ridgecrest area, can't say this is uh, moving much today. Uh, just nine earthquakes in total, including one within the last hour, a little microquake there at the point four uh, east of Little Lake area. Uh, some activity ramping up though um, a little bit looks like Antelope Valley northward uh, around the Lake Tahoe and the Reno area seeing some uh, microquakes kick up uh, nothing spectacular there either just a little swarm of movement there in the in the uh, low uh, to mid one range Pyramid Lake though this one here is kind of swarming a little um, looks like most of this activity from late last night but uh, about six earthquakes or so in the northern end of Pyramid Lake with a 3.0 being the largest in that area of Nevada. Uh, also some activity right around the Mount Lassen and the Lake Albanor area from earlier. Uh, no reported movement here in Northern California. Of course, we've seen some spikes there on the local seismograph there at uh, Petrolia, which sits just right around here south of Eureka area. And uh, no reported earthquakes there from the USGS. Not for sure what the trimmer map is like, but we will check that right now. Looks like a return of trimmer. At least uh, 55 epicenters of trimmer at the uh, northern end of the Cascadia, it looks like, and uh, kind of towards the southern end there in, in the uh, Oregon region. Kind of spread out uh, a little bit, but uh, compared to even then, that's 55 epicenters, not that big of a deal. I've uh, just still been in this quiet spell of activity for quite some time. There along the Cascadia subduction zone. So every once in a while we get these little days of uh, 55 or maybe even up to 200, but uh, not as uh, uh, when it comes to average activity there, it's pretty low still. Uh, what else we got here? Into the Pacific Northwest, not a whole lot of movement. Mount St. Helens looking pretty quiet here, at least on this map. Let's go ahead and check out the volcanic seismicity map here from the PNSN network. Kind of like to reaffirm uh, activity if it exists or if it doesn't exist when it comes to uh, earthquake activity here so we'll see if these guys are reporting anything of course not on the map so we'll zoom in to the Mount St. Helens seismograph stations here the three component broadband stations see if these guys are reporting any uh, earthquake activity well that's all kind of crazy there let's see what we got a little bit of activity definitely some earthquake activity here uh, not being reported, and I'm not for sure why, but uh, some microquake activity there. This is very generally 
uh, localized to this station right at the summit area, right into the crater, I should say. A couple small earthquakes here in the red and some other smaller ones included. So uh, yeah, definitely a little bit of earthquake activity still continuing there at Mount St. Helens uh, and not being reported on the map once again. Uh, they did add a few earthquakes here to the Yellowstone region, not uh, anything spectacular and not uh, the amount of earthquake activity that we had been seeing there at Yellowstone uh, yesterday. Go ahead and check out the Yellowstone overview. Uh, there's the activity from last night right around the borehole area. Just some, some quakes, nothing spectacular, but uh, definitely getting in on quite a few spikes with some intermittent data loss out here. Not for sure what's going on with that. Uh, but uh, still watching that area pretty closely. Uh, rest of the park looks pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of uh, movement going on throughout the region. Just that uh, little bit of swarming over here around the Lake Yellowstone area of Yellowstone. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Pacific and Northwest. Not a lot going on there. Intermountain West regions looks kind of spotty as well. I'm going to show you guys a regional view here. Uh, from yesterday's westward push there of earthquake activity, we have significantly calmed down almost to a dead standstill. We haven't seen any further earthquake activity out here. I think the last one we've seen within this region was the, uh, what do we got, 4.7 over here around the Indonesia area. And that was earlier today. So not a whole lot of renewed movement here in the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire in areas westward. Uh, did have one over here near Tonga that was uh, even prior to the Indonesia quake so uh, kind of watching and waiting to see what happens here with this uh, little quiet spell you just get a whole bunch of earthquake activity and then nothing just just kind of odd a little weird uh, Afghanistan Yemen and the Iran area all getting in on a little activity over the last 24 hours but uh, again this is older movement from earlier today Atlantic Ocean uh, Greenland or the uh, Iceland area had the earthquake uh, way earlier this morning of 5.0 no further movement in that region uh, just kind of uh, I don't know just a little on the eerily quiet side same for down here in the South America region uh, did see that 6.0 last night a couple fours since then but even that activity older Puerto Rico, let's go ahead and zoom in here to the region of the Puerto Rico area, southwest region, getting in on quite a bit. Looks like uh, oh, 31 earthquakes or so within the vicinity of Puerto Rico. A couple stretching up here around the Puerto Rico Trench, uh, but most of the activity confined here to the southwest region. Quite a few twos, and uh, looks like we got uh, a couple threes in there as well when it comes to the magnitudes. Uh, rest of the Cri uh, Caribbean looks pretty quiet. Uh, one little earthquake off the coast of Guatemala from earlier. Actually, uh, way earlier last night, possibly late last night. Uh, the rest of the states, see what's going on here in the Oklahoma, Texas region. Even these folks, not too much in the renewed area uh, as far as new earthquake activity goes. Uh, this movement here is from uh, earlier this morning, too. A couple earthquakes up here in the Wakita gas and uh, oil fields. Wakita Trin gas field. Four earthquakes there. Uh, looks like 3.3, the largest in that cluster of quakes. New Madrid zone looks pretty quiet. Not a whole lot happening there. Eastern part of the country as well. There's that one little earthquake up here. 2.0 in the Canada region. Let's go ahead and check out the Earthquakes Canada map here while we're on it. These guys were pointing towards some earthquake activity at the northern end of the Cascadia. Uh, just off of the... Uh, Explorer plate to the west looks like uh, doesn't look like they've added anything new. These here were uh, these were here earlier. A couple threes there, kind of at the northern end. Let me bring up the plate boundary so you guys can see what I'm uh, talking about here. Just at the Pacific side of the plate here, where the uh, Explorer plate and the Pacific plate meet over here to the west. The Cascadia subduction zone itself is this blue line. Uh, from right about here southward subducting underneath the north american plate so a couple earthquakes there today uh, in that area of the world uh, let's see what else we got to chat about here otherwise uh, looking at the rest of canada up here looks pretty quiet throughout the quebec area some movement over last week but uh, today generally speaking not a whole lot going on 
let's see what else we got here. Uh, Alaska region uh, up here. Lucian Trench looks a, still looks a little active along this area. Uh, most of these quakes here were from last night, looks like. Uh, a couple fours kicking off there. And some uh, general microquakes throughout the region of the Cook Inlet northward through the Alaska range. But uh, even these guys, nothing within the last hour when it comes to the uh, earthquake activity. West Coast, California looks to be about the only one. That and the uh, Puerto Rico area for most recent earthquakes. Let's go ahead and check out the EMSC model here while we're on it and uh, see what these folks are reporting. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. About the same activity. Nothing, re uh, nothing really abnormal here on this map either. Of course, when we shoot down here to this uh, smaller map, we can see quite a few threes. Looks like, yeah, looks like there's a couple fours in there not being reported by the uh, by the USGS in there. So either way, uh, definitely a pretty good uptick of threes in this region. But uh, anything above four, for the most part, just kept to a minimal even on this map down into the South America region. Uh, looks about the same threes up and down the board. See, that's the thing, though. You you go to look at this map, and then you look at the USGS map here. Not seeing that type of activity down there. Uh, a little bit of fours, but not like the fours that are shown on the EMSC level. And uh, it's hard to say if those have not been reviewed yet. Uh, but uh, I don't want to go through and check all of these, but that could possibly be the case. Then again, USGS may be just... Uh, uh, not paying attention to those that are popping up here, which could be possible. Either way, three's kicking up and down the board in this area of the world. Things kind of dying off here in the uh, western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Although New Zealand there, I just kind of wish that USGS would show more in the terms of some uh, smaller quakes. New Zealand, a little bit of activity here. 3.3 it looks like. Go ahead and zoom up here. Um... In that region of the Hikurangi subduction zone, I kind of want to see uh, back out of here real quick. Uh, not let me click on it. Let's see here. What do we got going on here? Hmm. But uh, yeah, a little bit of activity in the New Zealand area and the Kermadec Trench. A couple of threes. There's a 4.2 there. USGS reporting that one? No. That was from uh, earlier this morning as well. Did you guys see that? 4.2 earlier today. 3.6. So not for sure what's going on there with the USGS, but doesn't surprise me. So none, nonetheless here, a little bit of activity looks like kicking up on the EMSC model, showing that movement down around the New Zealand area. Uh, let's check out tonight's solar activity. I don't think we have too much going on in that department but we will check it out here green across the board for now i think that was green last night when this was coming in that little uptick around the kp uh, index of five hitting the g1 uh class storm i believe no new updates in fact solar flaring threat has dropped off dramatically uh, when it comes to the potential at least for these earth facing sunspots currently 2954 and 2955 reading up on these and there's just not a whole lot of dynamics on them it just looks uh kind of eerie not a whole lot going on in the sun right now folks so uh that's that department is closed uh aurora is looking of course minimal as always right now and uh we'll see what happens uh in the coming weeks here and coming year or so as we head into the solar maximum what else we got? Not a whole lot going on. What a big difference tonight, folks. I'm not even joking. It is a major uh, quiet spell. Let's go ahead and check out the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory real quick. See if these folks are updating anything, uh, got anything new here. Looks like the Kilauea Volcano still remains pretty active. An update put out today. Orange and watch level for the uh, Kilauea Volcano. Check out the update and see what these folks are saying. Don't need to take that survey. Thank you. Uh, the summit eruption of the Kilauea volcano within the crater has remained nearly constant uh, since the HVO daily update issued this morning. 
Uh, based on previous observations, lava will likely be visible in the active lava lake this evening. Pretty cool. Uh, webcam Im images and whatnot could show the lava. Here it's uh, a pretty cool site. If you haven't checked it out, the uh, USGS.gov volcanoes website uh, will show you all the uh, recent images. Obviously, we can see that coming in there. They even got a heat sensing thermal image there showing the lava. Uh, confined to the crater, there is the lava lake area. Of course, looks pretty active. I wouldn't doubt it with all the uh, Pacific plate movement that we've been seeing recently. There's a whole lot going on there underneath the uh, Pacific plate right now. But uh, yeah, pretty cool images there. And it uh, looks like that will continue for a little while. As far as general earthquake activity goes, let's go ahead and zoom in. Check out the area of the uh, Kilauea Volcano. Sometimes we get activity, sometimes we don't when the lava is flowing out there. And uh, right now, it's, wow, very skimpy. 12 measly earthquakes out here along the entire area of Hawaii. Uh, southeast flank looks pretty minimal in earthquake activity right now. Kilauea up here, not showing any signs of uh, seismic activity. At least uh, according to the USGS there. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here and uh, kind of cut this a little short. And we'll definitely... Uh, Catch you guys at another time. We're underneath a freeze watch here. That's kind of a big deal for us because uh, we don't we don't get below freezing too often here where I'm at in Northern California, at least here in the Sacramento Valley. We get cold nights sometimes, but uh, talking about down to 25 degrees or so tonight and tomorrow night. So uh, kind of cold. Uh, covered up my garden. Hopefully uh, it doesn't damage the garden too much. I kind of kind of thought we were done with any type of frost or freezes, but. Uh, Mother Nature has a way of uh, uh, mixing things up a little bit there when it comes to the weather and plans. All right, folks, have a good night. Uh, stay safe out there. And uh, just, you know, don't let this quietness fool you. Something definitely uh, uh, kind of got uh, kind of got an uneasy feeling with all that movement yesterday and now just an extreme quiet period. Just can't put my finger on it. But uh, we'll see what happens, folks. Enjoy the evening. Stay safe.